louder. Much louder. Much louder. Any young musician who wants to uh, have a career in music should uh, be forced to sit down and watch all of this footage from beginning to end. <sighs> so any new, uh, new jams this tour? Yeah, half the set is new. Wow. Three songs. Wow. It's yeah. like an hour. But, uh, awesome. yeah, yeah, revising the older shit. Every uh, sound check is a uh, nightmare. Because <laughs> we're trying to arrange things in the little time we have a sound check. It usually takes well over two, two and a half hours to set up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and then by that time we have like 10 minutes to play. <laughs> Yeah, I set up a situation where things are really rough when we begin in front of audiences, and um, which is fine. But then there's always revisions the next day, and so you try to have time to work in sound check and working on the arrangements. I'll put sign on too, just so I don't get confused. I used to do all this by myself and then pack them up and service the orders online. Mm. Pack them up in the little mailers. You know, fill out the address forms and the uh, custom forms and go to the post office. And, but that was, you know, pretty much a uh, part time shipping clerk job. You know, so. <laughs> three or four days a week. You know, but now that Swans is back, it's, there's no time. Swans, because there's usually a lot of animosity in the past. 
I won't go into detail, but um, I'm sure it was all my fault. But uh, yeah, we're all pretty much in the same boat. We're committed. Uh, let's see. Thor Harris, he's the albino monkey of the group. In his tableau, he sets up, plays drums, of course, and he plays a gong, a couple gongs. Orchestral chimes, uh, vibraphone, handmade uh, hammer dulcimer that he made. He's a carpenter, too. Uh, he made this table. He made this table. Mm -hmm. Thor made this table. He also built his own house. He's a very accomplished carpenter. Uh, he plays clarinet now as well. And uh, Philip Puleo is the uh, drummer who also plays dulcimer. Um, he played on the final so called Swans tour back in uh, whatever the hell that was, 98, I think. And uh, it's quite phenomenal. I don't know what to say about that. He's a great drummer. Um, lots of stamina, which is necessary when you're playing one song for 40 minutes. Uh, Norman Westberg, of course, the Clint Eastwood of electric guitar. And uh, comes from Detroit, and he's kind of like a one-man orchestra. He makes these huge sounds with his guitar. Um, and he's very stoic, understated, as you'll see when you tour with us and a fine gentleman. It's an honor to have him in this again because we hadn't really spoken in about, Jesus, 13 years or something before we got in contact about uh, reconvening. And um, enough water had passed under the bridge that it's, it's gone well. Uh, Christoph Hahn is uh, my friend who saw, he played in Swans occasionally back in the late 80s and 90s. Um, He's a great guitarist, but with us live, he plays primarily two open-tuned lap steels and makes these uh, organ-like sounds with it, I guess. He can make everything from like a Hammond organ sound to a uh, strangled cat. Uh, and he's very expressive, and he's German, so I approve. And he translates books for a living, other than Swans. Uh, he has a master's degree in uh, philosophy. That is the blue shirts that I bought. The black shirts that That's I That's nice. 16 bucks. Uh, Chris Pravdika, I think you know. Do you think I should get surgery on my labia? <laughs> he was in a terrific band in New York with Flux Information Sciences. And uh, that, that band was on Young Guard Records briefly. They were great, but Chris is a great bass player, and i uh, known him for years, and so when I decided to start Swans again, I called him. And as you know, he's also a man of superhuman physical strength, so that comes in handy loading the van. <laughs> I've I think I got everyone there, yeah. And then I'm the sissy in front. on the last couple records it's been sort of a process of discovery and um, in front of an audience too so it's, it puts pressure on us that's for sure uh, so I mean we just discovered that because things were changing every show during the last tour 
and I like that. I like not knowing how it's going to be from night to night or even during the set and being forced to will it into being. Um, so then we developed that as a way of working on the new material. It starts out one way and it just keeps, it just keeps changing. Um, for the better, I hope. And, uh, I don't know, it just, it just keeps it more urgent for me. Ah, oh, shit. Not at all. Yeah, so we're at doors. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Sorry, look. Ow! Sorry! Ow! Yep, yep. That's what I meant, I'm glad. That's what you meant? I, I, want, I want you to hurt yourself. Michael, should I sneak in with that once the vocals start? <coughs> I don't know, Norman. That's generally what I kind of do, is sneak in. I, I like that rhythm. I, I, I don't like mine now. I think I'm just going to start the song sort of like that. You guys have that groove now. I, I think it needs something opposed to it rather than, with it, rather than playing that shuffling. You know, since you guys have that, I'm just going to get better. I can see. <laughs> Or if I just don't, you just don't want to get it down on the downbeat, like. Oh! And so you hit a downbeat, you know, it's just like, the whole time. You go, I don't know what the. I can't. What does that mean? How do we, and, and, then, and then we just follow Phil on the. Yeah, or Phil and me. Yeah. And the, um, but the first hit should be. <laughs> and they go down so it has an impact, you know, you can get a symbol on that if you want. How are you going to go up and down with that? Like, it's just this volume. It's just... No, I mean you going up and down. Are you going up and down the neck? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, I'll follow you, kind of. No, nah, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I can't even hear myself on stage right now, do All you hear is this guy. No, I don't hear him. Oh, really? Yeah, the stage is well, well dead. Well, I look at it like someone like Cassavetes. Who was the director that had kind of a vision, but it always evolved with his actors, and yeah, so sort of like that. Okay. Alright. Boys. Yep. 
Clubs, they make a big deal out of it. They put these big signs. It is recommended that you wear earplugs for you will vomit. I think they should instead sell butt plugs. <laughs> finished lyrics. I'm just uh, imitating Demo Suzuki and um, kind of singing syllables. <laughs> and eventually the, like grab words out of the sky and then it's, uh, and I have a song. But I also write songs just on acoustic guitar and they're finished. But for these kind of uh, monolithic things we're doing, I'm content to just sing wherever until uh, the words appear. while simultaneously counting how many people are in the audience, of course. Things. So, and they all sort of uh, 
seem to be in this record somehow. The, the, the different ways of organizing sound. But it's, it's not meant to be that grandiose. Yeah. Not that anything associated with swans could be loosely termed grandiose. Abject, maybe. shows now mm -hmm. and uh, if people tell me that the music had some effect on their lives it's really really profound to me. it makes me feel good about what I'm doing
Class is over. Thank you, beautiful children. That's it, my man. All right. So, gentlemen, your work has just begun. Can you help me carry these downstairs, please? Yeah. If we all pitch in together. We're going downstairs. Okay. Um, this is going to go out with the mirror next week, so I'll just take it down there. All right, so. Everybody grab a box.